Let's dig into one aspect of the CPI report. Used vehicle prices were a major focus for economists heading into the numbers. We just uh, spoke to Stephen Juneau, Bank of America Securities, a U.S. economist with us. He talked about used car prices, that they would be a major factor behind deceleration and core inflation. And indeed, they were. Joining us now for a deeper dive, Yahoo Finance reporter Pras Subramani, who focuses on autos. So what's going on there, Pras? Hey, Julie. So, you know, very interesting read here in the market following these numbers, these June numbers. I want to start with the new car market here. So for June, flat compared to May and up 4.1% year over year. With that yearly figure coming down from May's 4.7%. But the used car market, like you mentioned, very interesting here. Uh, for June, down point or down half a percent compared to May, and down a whopping 5.2 percent year over year. That's a bigger drop than than we saw in May's report of 4.2 percent. So we're seeing that actually uh, come through here with that CPI idea that used car market moderating. We had some Edmonds data that we got recently from from Edmonds direct to Yahoo Finance. They're showing the same thing: used car market down six tenths of a percent month over month and down 3.7 percent year over year that's at the retail average transaction level so obviously what's happening here i think is that for new cars you're seeing supply turning around part shortages easing cars in the lots used car supply finally building up more supply from cars coming up leases the rental market and i think higher rates are making it a bit harder to buy those used cars and then that's bringing down putting pressure down on those used car prices again. So again, I think we're seeing some normalcy here from the pandemic where prices shot up considerably and we're still trying to get back to that baseline. Um, one of the other things I'm seeing some chatter about this morning is car insurance pros. Um, that I guess there were uh, there was an uptick in accidents last year and so we're seeing some of the insurers um, react to that. Is that something you're watching also? I mean, I've seen some reports about insurance prices being higher overall because of EVs, because EVs are so are so expensive to fix uh, and things like that. But I think you might be right about that, the trend there, because a lot of people are still are driving more post pandemic, even even these days. That's leading to more driving, more accidents. And we're seeing a lot of that kind of fall through with the uh, insurers having to kind of pick up the slack there with all these, the, you know, body shop uh, costs. So I think maybe there's something there. Maybe that'll sort of moderate as people maybe drive less gas prices sort of uh, come down a bit. We'll see. We will. Pross, thank you. Appreciate it.